I just find it fascinating when you get a bit of an insight into the royals, you know, what they truly like and what they listen to perhaps or read or look at when, you know, they're off duty. I found it fascinating that the late and wonderful Queen Mother just absolutely adored all things British comedy, you know, things like It Ain't Half Hot Mum, The Good Life, Hello, Hello, things like that, really, that just appealed to her funny bone. I mean, we're all the same, really, aren't we, when we're all off duty? And it was at this very spot, I must point out here, the other week, I think it's about a week ago now, when I was lucky enough to bump into someone I'd met and interviewed many times before, Sir Paul McCartney. If you remember, of course, he was just pulling up in a car, going off to an event, and literally, I stared at him, he stared at me, and then we both went, oh, hello, how are you? And it's that sort of moment, isn't it, when you meet someone and think, wow, how do I know you? How could I have possibly forgotten Sir Paul McCartney? You're in a daydream, aren't you? That's the problem, being at a bus stop. But now, earlier this week, Sir Paul was lucky enough to meet the Princess of Wales, Catherine, at the reopening of the National Portrait Gallery in the very heart of London. Now, for those that haven't been or haven't been lucky enough to have a look around, it is an amazing place. Being closed now for three years with a 40 million refurbishment and most of it is quite free. You know, there's certain exhibitions that you have to pay to go in and see, but I would really recommend it on the London Tourist Trail. Two things, it has a fabulous cafe that's not too expensive, and also, you know, those things that you need, conveniences, but on a hot summer's day, it's also very cool in there. It's one of the few places, like a lot of old museums, where they really just seemingly have this cool exterior, which makes you feel a lot better just wandering around and taking in all the wonderful artwork. But that's right, Catherine met Sir Paul McCartney, who's got a brand new exhibition all about some unseen pictures that he took during 1963 and 1964. Well worth a look, let me tell you. There's also a book out alongside that, a little bit pricey, but again, if you're a Beatles fan, why not? But here we can tell you first on the show that, you know, as I say, it's great to catch some of them out in these just unguarded moments. And it appears that Catherine was absolutely delighted to meet Sir Paul. Not only that, though, someone else was rather envious. That's right, her mother and father, Carol and Michael. You see, they've been mega Beatles fans all of their life. And according to a very good source, Catherine let slip that they'd bought all of their early albums. It was a soundtrack to many of their youths, as it was for many people around the world. That's really how iconic Sir Paul is. Now, he was there alongside his wife, Nancy, and she seemed very, very thrilled to meet Catherine, naturally. But I just wanted to share that with you. Isn't it fascinating to know, when you think about it, that, you know, again, it just boils down to normal things that normal people do. And let's not forget that Catherine does come from a very, you know, shall we say, middle class, normal upbringing. And meeting people like Sir Paul McCartney, a lot of people unkind saying she seemed, you know, a little nervous and a little giggly. Well, you would be. It doesn't matter who you are. These are people that you've only ever seen, you know, on the big screen or on your television or on album sleeves. Now, can you imagine if Catherine was giggly, just how giggly would Carol or indeed Michael Middleton have been? As I said, mega, mega fans of Sir Paul and the Beatles. And my surmise is, very soon, there will no doubt be an invite to Kensington Palace for, ha for perhaps a private dinner, tape to tape and clinking of glasses. That's the beauty of being a royal. You can make dreams come true. Not just for everybody else, but including your close family members too. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.